What's going on guys? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. I got another package in the mail! From WPL. It is the... Bang! Off-Road Racing Series 4x4. I forget what this thing's called, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. It is a 1 16th scale crawler, and I'm excited to bust into it. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. The package is a little beat up, but hopefully the truck's okay. All right, let's get into this thing. Ooh. Now, like I said, the box is a little beat up, but that's okay. I think, hopefully it was packaged well. That's upside down, which doesn't make sense. Why would all this be on the top of the box and this be the bottom? I don't know, let's get it out of there. All right. And that is everything in the box. Slide this on its... Oh, that's probably how it's packaged. This is on the top. That means that... Yeah, okay. That's probably how the box sits. It doesn't have to come out on its wheels. So we got some sweet decals. All right, let's bust into this thing. Uh, first thing is first. Let's take a look at the packaging. Yep. Oh, hey, there's, okay, there's English on the back. That's helpful. And the truck. This is what we all came for. This is the ready to run model. I know they make a, uh... oh, come on. It's a great knife, cuts right through tape. Uh, this is the ready to run model. I know they make a kit model, which I think you can get like metal parts for and stuff, which is pretty cool. I opted for the RTR just cause I feel like that's probably more of my speed at this point. I do want to get a kit at some point and build it, but looks like you get a sweet see-through uh, USB charger for whatever battery's in there. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, I hope there's a battery in there. Okay, there is. Woo! I did not get the one. I've seen people review these and they get one that has like two batteries in the package. This one just came with one. It's a 500 milliamp hour, 7.4 volts, something. Feels like two double A's taped together. I think this is a nickel metal hydrate or something, or I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think that's what it is. Got all the accessories, which is really cool. I'm glad they have like pre-drilled holes and you can put the accessories on and stuff. So I don't really want to like drill into it myself. But also, you know, if you're not into like the snorkel or whatever, it's kind of a bummer that that's there. I guess I could patch it up, that's no big deal. And the last thing in the plastic is the remote. Um, I mean, yeah, it doesn't feel great. Feels kind of, kind of cheap plasticky, you know. Um, no grip on the steering wheel, but that's okay. It's got this like raised. If you can see that, it's like raised there, so you can kind of feel where you're gripping it. Off and on, left and right, and that's it. That's all you get. Oh, my favorite when they put a screw in there. It's the batteries. They come flying out of these things all the time. It's insane. You wouldn't believe how many times I've been on the trail. And those battery compartments with the little clasp just pops off on its own, even when I'm gripping it, and the batteries just start running away. They sprint in the other direction. I don't know what it is with batteries these days. They don't like being in controllers. Let's take a look at the truck. It is pretty heavy. Um, this is like thick plastic, which is nice. It's a thick, hard plastic. thought it was going to be really flimsy. Um, it's like, I mean, you can flex it, but it is pretty thick and pretty durable feeling, which is nice. Obviously, the battery goes in here. It's kind of cool. There's a little toolbox you can hide your battery in. It stays shut like that. It doesn't have a locking mechanism that I'm aware of. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe you just got to push hard. Maybe I broke it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, there are little tiny clips at the end here. So you can push down and clip it into place. There we go. Oh, yeah, you got to pull pretty hard to get that thing open. So that's nice. It won't be flopping around on the trails uh tires really like cheap and hard feeling like that it takes a lot of force to make that flex they're not very soft at all they're probably not going to do great on obstacles but you know it is what it is it's a fairly inexpensive i think this thing was like around 100 bucks or something um i didn't buy it on banggood i think people can buy it on banggood i haven't bought anything from there yet but only because i don't i don't know 
I downloaded the app, I looked at it, they got some cool stuff, and there are some trucks that I want to check out from them, but one of the ones I tried to buy is the CR24, and it had it listed in euros or pounds, one or the other, for the price, and when I went to pay for it, I wasn't paying attention, and like, I don't know, five minutes later, my bank called me, and they're like, whoa, hey, was your uh, card stolen? I'm like, not that I'm aware of. I'm like, oh, okay, well, we thought, you know, this isn't in US dollars, so they canceled it, and the order didn't go through, um, so I don't know. I'll figure it out at some point. I do want to get the CR24. That's like the last 24 scale crawler that I know of that I don't have yet. And I want to add it to the collection, but we're talking about this today. Oh yeah, that's, that's quality. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It does have full four link suspension, very cheap plastic. These, these feel like they can just flex and break right off. Um, but I mean, they're on there. They got little screws holding it in. I might have to tighten those or something. Plastic drive shafts, decent sized uh, motor from what I can see so far, but I haven't taken the body off or tried. Um, transmission transfer case. All of it is plastic. Even the, the differential, it does look a little shinier and might be like anodized metal. It's not. The entire, entire truck's plastic. Springs are, uh, I and mean, they're not bad actually. They're a little stiff, especially in the front. They're pretty stiff. Let's see, does it... It does turn the wheels a little when the suspension goes down, but when you have that uh, servo on chassis, it just tends to make the wheels turn slightly that way when you bottom out the suspension. But I do like the detail on the body. I want to go ahead and get the accessories bolted onto this thing. I might even see if I can take this body off depending on how difficult it's going to be. I don't know if we're going to look underneath or anything. I don't think there's much to look at. Is the hood open? Nope. Doors. Nope. It does have a faux interior, which is kind of cool. Nice little interior. Um, glass window on the front. Nothing on the side, but it does have this tiny little plastic window down there. So that's cool, I guess. This is a Toyota, I believe, or it's trying to be. It's supposed to be. I don't know if it's licensed. But I'm going to bolt on all the accessories. And by bolt on, I mean clip on. And uh, we'll take a look at it. Hopefully the battery has a charge. I'll get some batteries in this. We'll take a first spin. All right, so we're back. We got the battery charged up. I did get the accessories on. So things like these mirrors and these door handles, these running boards, the little D-rings. I like the red. That's kind of cool. And the snorkel and these little blinker light housings. Those all come just separate. It even came with a spare little blinker housing and windshield wiper blade in case I lose one. Um, those all snap on. They just click into place. The running boards came with five screws. One's a spare, four screws, two to screw them in on each side. Um, and then these decals, some of them are hilarious the more I look at them, but this one came uh, with the truck. So there's a decal on the back here. I didn't really know where to stick them. I just kind of haphazardly put them places. Little four by four with a white X on a white truck. WPLC in white on a white truck. Got the matching one on the side. And then these ones in the bed. It came with a black stripe that I just stuck here for no apparent reason other than to do it. Little four by four, it said off-road mania, but the off went missing, four by four accessories. And I love this little dead fish decal. I thought that was hilarious. The one that i mean i think i already showed it but china stronger depend on us and then i love china that's such a great little sticker it cracks me up and then whatever this one says i thought it said overlord express at first it says off-road express so we're good there and then of course the discovery channel one that just is so funny to me because i know it's not licensed can't be um but yeah got the batteries in it got the batteries in the controller they are super secure in case you're wondering they're secure. So we're going to pop this on. Again, the only options are off and on and then trim. Light flashes red. And then the switch on the bottom of the truck right under the, right there. Oh, it's got some headlights. Nice yellow ones that match the, uh, the era of the truck. So it does have proportional control for that. And then Proportional throttle as well. A little bit backwards, a lot backwards. This definitely isn't winning any races. 
but it is four, four, full four wheel drive. It does have locking differentials. There's a little bit of play in them, but that's about as far as you can actually push it. But I say we go take this thing for a spin. I don't think it's gonna fit on any of my courses. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure it won't at all, but we'll try it on one of them. All right, since I got them all stacked up here on top of each other and this one's exposed, we'll try this one. I really don't think, I mean, granted, that is not a difficult hill to get up for something this size, but with these wheels, with how hard they are. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, the rear beads on these wheels were not seated in the rim. They were just only on the two rear wheels, but they weren't in the bead. They were just kind of out and flopping around. I happened to notice that the fronts were fine, but the backs weren't. But with how hard these things are, I don't know if this is going to get up here. Ooh. Again, I don't think this is a hardcore crawler. It's not really the market they're going for. But hey, we made it to the top. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. See if we can back it down. Will it hold itself on the... Nope. Uh, no throttle there. I just bumped the throttle and it rolled on its own. So not too much of a transmission brake or EC ESC brake or anything, but not a bad truck. I don't think the obstacles outside are going to work for this thing either, but we'll get some shots of it just running around. It's more of like a trail truck than a hardcore crawler, or at least at this point. I know there's upgrades. Maybe we'll get into those later. But for right now, let's just go drive around, see what it does. Well, the WPL C24, I believe is what this thing's called. Um, it's a fun little truck. It's not a rock crawler. It's more of like a trail truck. Um, yeah, I think. That might be how I would describe it. It's like a little trail running trail truck. Um, it's actually really fun to drive. Yes, it kind of, you know, pops and squeaks and bangs and, you know, everything's a little little looser than I'd like on it, but it's a ready to run truck for, it was definitely under a hundred bucks. I had to check. I think this thing was like 70 or 80 US dollars, which is crazy cheap for a hobby grade 16 scale ready to run RC car. Uh, I know there's a lot of upgrades for these. I'm going to start looking into those. What I'd like to do is if you guys have any comments or suggestions um, on some cool upgrade parts that I can get for this thing, let me know. Uh, I, I want to make this kind of a project truck. I want to turn it from what it is into an actual capable crawler. Maybe not the most insane off-road crawler you've ever seen, but I definitely want to make it more capable. Um, I know there's quite a few different pieces that I can get. I haven't really looked into them yet, but like I said, if you know any, comment down below and let me know. Um, I think this has a lot of potential, and that's the cool part about it. It's a really good starting base point. Um, it For right now, the most I would say you could do with this is, you know, drive it around. You could drive it in dirt over hills and stuff. It definitely has a little bit of torque. I mean, it made it up that uh, little scale course I had, and that's a pretty steep hill. So it's got some torque. It's got some decent battery power. It just doesn't have 
the articulation and the fine control. I do want to replace this at some point. This thing's not very great. It's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the tires have got to go. That's going to be probably my first upgrade or modification to some new tires. These are about as hard as concrete. They're not good at all. They don't have very good grip. They're not sticky. They're just really, they almost feel like hard plastic. They're not, uh, not great. But the truck it, as a whole, the amount of detail on it is really cool. It kind of reminds me of like building a 16th scale um, model of a truck. And then it happens to have electronics in it and you can go drive it. It's got that kind of level of detail. The little things down to like the door handles, the mirrors, this little spot right here where you could put a lock, you could put a little decal or, you know, pop a lock on there. It's got separated body panels. It's really cool. I like it. Um... I wasn't sure how much I would like it, but for the price, you can't go wrong. This is a great starter truck at under $100. It really is. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a project we're going to work on along with all the other RC trucks we got. So if you want to stay up to date on that, see what happens to these trucks, see what kind of modifications we do, um, subscribe. And by the way, thank you, everyone. We're over 400 subscribers. It happened like in the blink of an eye. I can't believe how fast this channel is growing. I want to sincerely thank everyone. It's so awesome how cool this community is. Everybody's super nice. All of the comments I get are nothing but great, awesome people just saying nice things and giving me great suggestions. Um, a lot of the trucks I have were suggested by you guys. Um, upgrades I've done, suggestions from you guys. I am more than happy to try stuff out if it's within my means to do stuff to these trucks that some of you might not be able to do. I'm happy to do that, and I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It's been so much fun. Um, I can't wait to build the outdoor course. I'm going to set it up for 24 scale, 16 and 18 scale, and 10 scale trucks. There's going to be multiple routes for different vehicles depending on the size, so we're going to be working on that this summer. That's coming up soon, and I think that just about does it. Yeah, thank you guys. Seriously, it's awesome. Uh, I will catch you in tomorrow's episode. We, I think we're going to do some upgrades. Not on this guy, but I've got some upgrades on the way. They're kind of surprise, and I'm excited to show you guys. So I will see you in tomorrow's uh, video.